Hello, I'm David Hart, Executive Vice President at the Florida Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. Our special guest today is the Executive Director of Florida's Department of Economic Opportunity, Director Jesse Panuccio. Director, welcome to the show. Great to be here, David. David, thank you for having me. So I want to talk to you about a couple different items today, but first and foremost, something your department's been working on this past year that's really been very interesting to me. You've made it part of your mission to tackle um, fraud in the area of unemployment comp, and you've been using some pretty sophisticated uh, methods to go after that fraud and that identity theft. Tell us about what DAO's been working on. Uh, well, you're exactly right. Uh, unemployment fraud uh, is something that is a, a top priority for the agency, and the reason is we discovered a few years ago that there's a new type of fraud out there, and it's it's rooted in identity theft. As you probably know, uh, billions of records are being breached every year uh, in, in the world and in the country. Uh, criminals are using those IDs to steal everything from credit cards to public benefits, and we decided to use a data analytics system to look for patterns of fraud uh, and see what we could find and the results were staggering over the last two years we found 130,000 fraudulent claims. If we had paid full benefits on those, it would have been $529 million. Uh, so this is a huge industry. Uh, it is terribly harmful uh, for the social safety net, for uh, the resources we have to run the program and pay benefits. Uh, and, and it is a crisis, I think, that is not getting enough attention nationally. So what we uh, are endeavoring to do at DEO is become the number one agency in the country for fighting public benefits fraud. We're trying to uh, set an example of what you can do if you really focus focus on this and, and we're getting results. We're winning awards on the programs we've put in place and we're talking to a lot of other states about what we're doing. Well, I've been impressed with the steps you've been taking and so on behalf of our members, I just want to say thank you to you and your colleagues at the Department of Economic Opp Opportunity for going after the fraud and saving those dollars uh, for the system. So thank you. Well, thank you for your support. Another thing I want to ask you about is economic development incentive programs in the state. They've been a big, hot topic in the legislature for over a year now. Um, you and I probably both get asked uh, quite frequently about these economic incentive programs. Tell us about the role that the Department of Economic Opportunity plays with these incentive programs. Sure. Well, that's a great question. Uh, first of all, I, I should say, you know, I always say when we talk about incentives, understand the most important incentive we have is the general business climate in Florida, our low taxes, our sensible regulations, the investments we put in critical infrastructure. So that's the baseline of what draws people here. But for those very competitive projects, we do have a suite of tax incentives. DEO it works. We're the government agency uh, that monitors those, uh, performs the due diligence on those companies. We work with our partners at Enterprise Florida, which is a public-private partnership and then local economic development agencies to bring those projects and administer those incentives. So DEO can be seen uh, both as the, agen the agency that sort of protects the taxpayer money. Uh, Enterprise Florida is the chief marketer. Uh, they help negotiate the deals. We make sure uh, that proper due diligence is performed on those deals and that we then monitor performance so that taxpayers get exactly what they bargained for. I would tell you that our members are big supporters of those programs. They recognize that we're in a competitive environment with other states and that for us to have a diminished program in many cases is going to put other states in a competitive advantage over us. So thanks for the role you play there. Last question I have, I uh, want to give you a chance to talk about sort of the Florida miracle of the last uh, six years. You know, Florida in, in many ways um, had one of the toughest uh, impacts on our economy during the Great Recession, but thanks to the governor's leadership, uh, private sector jobs have increased 900,000 plus uh, in the last uh, five years. What role has DAO played in that? What can you tell us about um, your focus on private sector job creation? Well, you've got it exactly right. Florida has had an incredible economic turnaround story over the last few years. Uh, 940,600 jobs. We count every one of them in the Scott administration. They're all uh, critically important. And, and our role is really to coordinate workforce development, economic development, and community development and growth management. So uh, we administer a lot of the policies and programs that are really focused on growing the jobs base in this state. And we're seeing results. Uh, again, you allow the private sector to keep their money and have lower taxes and grow, and they do the right thing. They invest it smartly, and we've seen that job growth. We are now outpacing all other large states in terms of our private sector job growth rate. We're at about hovering around five point, uh, around 4%. Uh, we're even beating Texas at this point, who for a long time 
uh, had held the mantle of top job creator in the country, and now we've taken that over. That's great news, Jesse. We look forward to coming, uh, having you back over and celebrating hitting that one million mark of private sector uh, jobs. So thanks for being with us. And to our members, thank you for joining us on another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line.